Well, it's digital medicine. Stroke survivors, survivors making real progress thanks to virtual reality. A Davis company is making games that turn grueling physical therapy into something people can enjoy. CBS 13's Adrian Moore has a closer look. This is awesome. <laughs> this is addictive. The goal for stroke survivors who strap on these virtual reality goggles is to get better, not to get a high score. See, there are no points anywhere. This is not something like, oh, you're trying to get this to get points. Tina Orkin was one of the first to play the games after she had a stroke in 2016. I started out totally paralyzed on the left side. The games helped Tina recover her strength. The one I like the best is with a paddle. Stroke survivors use the paddle to hit a ball and blow up boxes. Now I can get really crazy with this. I can whack the hell out of it. Um, fun things will happen. Tina says virtual reality was strange oh, at first. It was weird because <laughs> I had never done it. I didn't know much about it. Patients who keep playing get stronger one game at a time, and their doctors learn so much. On how stable is their reach? How wobbly is their reach? How fast is their reach? Three years ago, Tina was in a wheelchair. Now she can walk and play with her grandkids. The founder of Cognivive says success stories like Tina's make all the hard work worthwhile. You get to do really cool science, play with fun technology, and you're making a positive difference in people's lives on a day-to-day -day basis. You can't ask for much more than that. Yeah, that is something, huh? The software developers are improving the games every week and hope that stroke survivors all over the country and the world eventually get to play them. All right, Chris.